Nice to meet you, my online students. My name is Svetlana Anatolievna Mikheyeva. Today we are going to start the sixth module is the Earth in Danger. We use English students book, a textbook for the 10th form of secondary schools. The author is Oksana Karpyuk. To my mind, it will be convenient for you to use your notebook, a pen. If you want, you can use some colorful pens and, of course, good mood. Don't forget to stop the presentation if you want to make notes or if you are unsure of something. Today we are going to talk about nature and humanity, their relationships and results of their interaction. First of all, let's remember, what do you know about disasters? Think a little and make a brief note, two or three sentences in your notebook about it without using different resources. Stop the presentation to write down your thoughts. Now I want to read you a quotation of Catherine the Great. I beg you take courage, the brave soul can mend even disaster. It means if you have a purpose, you'll have a result. By the end of the lesson you should be able to recognize and understand types of natural disasters, to read and understand the gist and details despite the natural difficulties. Natural disasters have been occurring for ages. We can say as long as mankind exists. Even in the Bible you are able to discover hazards that affected human beings at that time. For instance, the well-known flood and the Noah's Ark, the destruction of the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, and so on. Disasters are related to the history of mankind. They have consistently occurred in the life of man throughout history. We can refer to the ancient wars between Greek city-states and the Persians, or the destruction of Pompeii by the eruption of Vesuvius, or the huge military expeditions and offensives of the Roman legions in almost all parts of the exploited world. Now let's ensure you definitely know what we are talking about. Please write down this definition into your notebook and compare with yours. A disaster is a serious disruption occurring over a short or long period of time that causes widespread human, material, economic or environmental loss which exceeds the ability of the affected community or society to cope using its own resources. If we think about different types of natural disasters, we can enumerate following. Tornado, flood, wildfire or forest fire, earthquake, drought, tsunami, landslide, typhoon, volcano eruption, snowstorm, sinkhole, sandstorm, hurricane, fork, thunderstorm, drizzle, avalanche, lightning, extreme heat, dust storm, cyclone, hailstorm, blizzard, water spout, And now I want to invite you to read and translate the given sentences on this and the following slide. Please write down unknown words with the translation into your notebooks. Draw your attention to the words in green. You have to learn them by heart. Learn the names of common natural disaster in English with example sentences. Don't forget to stop the presentation to make your notes. 
Let's do an exercise. Please write down the words in your notebooks. And then you can easily match the words with the number of the picture stop the presentation. And now you can check your answers. To sum up the information we get, look at the table below. There are some types of natural disasters according to the working paper. In order to remember them better, make notes in your notebooks. Geophysical group has some types, for example, earthquake, mass movement, dry, volcanic activity. There are some types in hydrological group, flood, landslide, wave action. And there are some types in meteorological group, storm, extreme temperature and fork. Climatological group has drought, glacial lake outbursts, wildfire. And at last, biological. Animal accident, epidemic, insect infestation. And now it's time to relax. Please move a little. These exercises are useful and simple to do. Let's do a little exploration together. What causes natural disasters? Some natural disasters are geological or geophysical. This means that they are caused by natural events occurring within the Earth's crust. Some natural disasters are meteorological. This means that they are caused by extreme weather conditions in the Earth's atmosphere. Some natural disasters are hydrological. This means that they are caused by the amount of water present on the Earth's surface. Some natural disasters can be caused by a combination of natural factors. Humans can also play a role in causing natural disaster events. Can you brainstorm some natural disasters that would belong to each of these categories. To understand better types of natural disasters, we have some tables. Please learn them by heart to boost your vocabulary. This classification isn't difficult, but quite detailed. So we are working with natural disasters. Disaster group is geophysical. It has some main types – earthquake, volcano and mass movement. Earthquake can be ground shaking or tsunami. Volcano – it is volcanic eruption. Mass movement can be rockfall, avalanche, snow avalanche, debris avalanche. Mass movement can be landslide, mudslide, leha, debris flow. Subsidence can be sudden subsidence or long-lasting subsidence. Let's pay your attention on the translation of the following words. Snow avalanche, снігова лавина, debris avalanche, Kamyana lavina, mudslide, selevi suf, laha, lava, debris flow, brudnei potik, sudden subsidence, raptove prosidanya, long lasting subsidence, trivala prosidanya. To expand your vocabulary on the theme, there are explanations of the hazards. Read them attentively. Make notes in your notebook if you need. Make it clear what each natural event is. Don't forget to stop the presentation. So
so we continue and now are talking about hydrological group here we have two main types flood and mass movement wet so flood can be general river flood flash flood storm surge coastal flood mass movement can be rockfall landslide avalanche and subsidence landslide can be debris flow avalanche snow avalanche and debris avalanche subsidence sudden subsidence and long-lasting subsidence draw your attention to the table we can have mass movement dry as we had in the previous table and unlike it here we have wet mass movement so please we can talk about different main types dry and wet we continue and now are talking about meteorological group it has only one main type storm and some subtypes tropical storm extratropical cyclone winter storm local or convective storm local or convective storm can be thunderstorm or lightning snowstorm or blizzard sandstorm dust storm generic severe storm tornado or a graphic storm or strong winds to boost your vocabulary on the theme there are explanations of the hazards read them attentively make notes in your notebook if you need make it clear what each natural event is don't forget to stop the presentation and now we are talking about climatological group it has three main types extreme temperature drought and wildfire extreme temperature can be heat wave cold wave extreme winter conditions cold wave can be frost extreme winter conditions can be snow pressure icing freezing rain debris avalanche and wildfire can be forest fire land fires grass scrub bush etc and now let's read a little read the paragraphs and refer them to the questions what are they where do they happen what can people do why do they happen how do they affect people here you can check your answers you worked a lot and your home task is to create a mind map draw it in your notebook try to understand what natural disasters can happen in our region use the information from the presentation thank you for your attention take care stay well and stay safe